So we've got Sharpie in the prelim division. And I have to say, this ring was hard to focus uh, in um, because there's construction going on. They're building like a barn right next to us. Um, and I also had, this would be the fourth kind of different test, and this is prelim test C. So sometimes this test can be hard for my brain just to, to map for some reason. Um, but Sharpie's a good boy, comes in, does his length and trot, And, you know, he's he's doing a good job of staying focused. I can just feel myself kind of wandering a little bit because of the construction. And then we have to do the leg yield this way. And then we change the bend. We're supposed to anyways. But this is where I went off course because I circled to the left, where I'm supposed to circle to the right. <laughs> and my dad got a little scared because they honked the horn. So I just came back around, did the circle because I was annoyed with myself that I lost that concentration there. It was a half circle. That's a fairly good halt. Again, my dad's filming. We could zoom in a little bit, but this is what we get. There we go. And Sharpie is very workmanlike, always puts in a very workmanlike test. So now I'm really trying to make sure I don't make any more mistakes because you can always get paranoid once you kind of go off course in the dressage test. But again, he, Sharpie does a good job of staying nice and relaxed. He's doing a nice stretch for our stretch circle. And then put them back together. And into a very nice walk transition. And then we do our extended or free walk over a half 20 meter circle. And I always find some horses do better on the half 20. Um, Sharpie does better with the diagonal, with the free walk or extended walk. Cause it kind of gives them a point to go to. And then we pick up our trot. And then a nice canter transition. <laughs> he almost got a little too quiet there. And so I almost had the break when I was doing a length and canter, but he was very rideable and went, whoop, whoops, sorry. So he's doing a really nice job here. We cross the diagonal into a counter canter, into the trot transition. and canter right at A. And then the same along this side, we do length and canter, and then we're supposed to get it come back on the half 20 here, which he is a very good boy and comes right back pretty easily. And again, now we go into our counter canter, and I'm thinking, thank goodness, I'm near done with this test <laughs> and down the center line so a couple of bobbles which were all my fault not sharps because he's a good boy um, and we ended up scoring a 34.1 which put us tied for 13th 
but I'm always pleased with him. He always tries to show up and do his best. He's a good boy. Now on to show jump. I'm just working on making sure I have the canter. It gives me a good jump. And again, he's he's competed a lot at the three star level. An intermediate, and I just have him down at the prelim level because he's very easy. This is kind of his jam in here. He made a good shape over those lines. And then I kind of, I've made the mistake in here where I did the last minute add, which then I had a little bit of a flatten out at the ox or there. It jumps this really lovely. And he he gives a really nice easy feel over the jumps. He never feels like he's gonna jump you out of the tack. And then just coming on to the last line. So even with that rail, this division ended up having some trouble. I was able to move up a spot into twelfth place. So I was really pleased with the round. It was just my one mistake that caused the rail. And then on to cross country, which is very much Sharpie's jam, uh, especially the prelim level. And with this being flat, it was a little hard to make time. Um, I kind of slept at the wheel a little bit, and we ended up having a couple of time faults. But all in all, he was very, very good. He's very, very brave. Uh, coming to this one in the water, I saw kind of a deep one, and he said, eh, he saw the right one. Good boy, Sharps. And you see he has a lovely gallop. So we just had to wind our way through the back there, jump uh, kind of a coop that you can't really see there. And then I was able to take an inside line because he is very experienced. Uh, so I chose to do an inside line to, we just had the single angle brushes. And then let him kind of cruise on home. It's pretty fun. He's like a you know, they say a nice pair of gloves. And just fits just right. Makes it feel really easy. And then we finished up over our little ditch and wall here. Which again, he jumps those really great. And we had just a couple of seconds over. And we finished up ninth. So a nice top ten finish for Sharps, which I was really pleased about. So he's a good boy.